Hi friends, so this is a series on Azure tutorials. So we start with uh, creating and looking at what is uh, Azure SQL database. Uh, so just go to portal.azure.com and I'll just use my live account uh, to log in. And once you sign in, you'll be re you'll be directed to the default Azure uh, portal. there you go so you have a host of resources uh, on azure available so we what we will be starting with is a simple sql database on azure so we'll try to spin up uh, a database here let's let's check it uh, how we can do that so let's say create sql database Azure, let's call it transactional database. So, we're creating a new resource group for this uh, complete series. Uh, yeah, we can just next is the configurations. it would ask you for a server name and the admin admin azure just pick a password and a location so we just go with the East US location here and then so that's the configuration and the next is your pricing tier so uh, let me go with the basic one which offers me about 2 GBs and we'll go we'll say create so there you go you have your new sql database uh, spinning up so there you go we have our azure sql database spinned up so um, this is the server essentially this is this is the server that you see uh, we have a resource group created and, and the database that we have created is azure tran so uh, the, the next important thing is uh, to set up the firewall before we uh, begin attempt to connect uh, to this database so if you go to the firewall it automatically detects your your uh, IP of your host mach host machine. So let's just add this IP and uh, let me just allow it from all through 55 and then let's just save this. That says this firewall has been updated. Uh, well, that's that's pretty. That's done. Now the next step for us is to connect uh, to the database from our local machine so we are we have the sql server management studio on our local so i'm just using the ssms for 2012 uh, let's just try to connect to the database we have just created on azure that's azure tran So uh, on the Azure, uh, sorry, on, on these SSMS, we would say that the server name, we can just pick it from, um, copy it from here. So let's just copy this, click on copy. And let's, let's go back to our 
Azure instance and paste it so essentially the next thing is we will use SQL authentication since we uh, Azure would use SQL authentication you can encrypt your connection you provide the uh, the database that's Azure TRAN and the auth was admin Azure just type the password and let's try to connect to the Azure database that we have uh, created And there you go so we we have just created an instance of azure uh, sql database and been able to connect to it uh, now what you see here is the server name that we had created and and the database that uh, we have uh, built that's azure transaction so so uh, let's just um, fire a query and let's just take a look at it So let's try to insert a couple of records here and let's test it. It would essentially behave exactly like your database on premise. So what we have achieved in this video is we have created uh, an instance of, of SQL uh, Azure SQL database and um, we have been able to test it fire some queries. Um, Thank you.